Hello, and I'm Amelia Fantucci. This is a tutorial on how to auto trace an image and apply the lightsaber plugin effect. So what you're going to want to do in Adobe After Effects CC 2018 is you are going to create a new composition. If you are running on a slightly um, not so good PC, such as the one that I am on now because it's a Mac, you might want to run it at 1920 by 1080 at 30-ish frames per second. If you want a better PC, you can even put this up to you Ultra HD 4K 30 FPS or 1080p 60 FPS, but you don't need to worry about that right now. Click the OK button. Now, I'm just going to fit this so it fits the screen. And now what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to import your file by dragging and dropping it from Finder onto your composition. You can hold shift and expand the image to make it fit the screen however you would like. I think that's good for me. Actually, I think I'm going to expand this a slightly bit, little bit more over here. So it fills the whole screen. Perfection. Now, what I'm going to want to do now is at the top of your screen, click layer. Sorry, you're going to want to make sure that this layer here is selected at the bottom, the bottom left of the screen. Go to layer and then click auto trace. Now, the channel I find works best when you select it to red over here in this new window that pops up. Everything else, you can probably leave the same. Then you can click OK. Now, as you notice here, this is your lovely new layer of Peter Griffin. Now, what you're now going to want to do is go to Effect and Saber. This will just open up your Saber window, as it always has. This is not applying it to your lovely image. On this side, on this uh, left side of your screen over here, you are going to want to click the little drop down menu for render settings. And in composite settings, set that to transparent. Under the customized core menu, you are going to want to click core type from saber to layer masks. As you can see, it is now applied to that lovely lightsaber effect to all of those auto traced lines on your image. Now, it might be a little bit bright, so what you're going to want to do is click over here in glow intensity and drag that down so it's not quite so bright. Now, as you can see, I have a very lovely image here of Peter Griffin, now neon and I can change the color to whatever I would like, or I could change possibly the presets to make him look epic. And as you can see here, that is the end of the tutorial since you have your finished product right over here. Thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate your views. Thank you and goodbye.